Hello! Welcome to the November Explorations of Me. Well, this month these questions don't suggest artwork to me. Um, do you think before you say what you were thinking? How do you work with it? If it's negative, can you keep it in? What do you say? What can you say positively instead? Do you think before you say what you were thinking? Well, that stopped me because I do, but I have also uh, been known to blurt inappropriately. And so I confess that. I'm really trying harder. Um, I've only been married for three three years. Uh, but I've been in the same relationship for 20 some years. 25, six years. Anyway. And I was talking to somebody the other day about how being in a relationship is like like you're the velveteen rabbit and you get your fur rubbed off because you get love done. And so we rub our corners off of one another. And and in any long-term friendship, I think that that happens. I'm also noticing that in groups it happens. And so groups need to rub their corners off on one another now and then. And, and that process happens when we say things incorrectly and when then we step back and we make amends for that or we figure out what we should have said and what we really meant to say and what we really needed to say. And what was the whole point of whatever was going on? And groups, the bigger the group, the tougher, tougher the challenge. So I'm very happy to be in my tiny little twosome circle to practice all of this. And still, n none of this comes to um, an idea of anything to um, share with you for journaling. So what I am going to do isn't share incomplete things with you for journaling. So I... Um, made potato leek soup to a week ago during the blackout. And um, I cut off the ends of the leeks and brought them in here to my desk and played with them. And then I brought a couple fallen leaves from the stash that Linda had collected on the front porch and brought a couple of those in. And played with those. So I'm just going to share those two videos with you. I'm going to speed them up and then I'm going to show you the four pages that I have so far done for November Art Journal Habit 2019, which I'm participating with with Peg and Shell and the gang over on Art Joy of Sharing. And that's going to suffice it for this month where still and always I practice learning to keep my mouth shut when necessary and have it open when it's important to say something, figure out how to say it. So that's all I know about that right now. I'm practicing. I'm like a doctor. I'm practicing. Okay. Talk to you soon. <laughs>
Okay, here's what we're doing this month uh, with um, Art Journal Habit. So I'm starting with these pages from a tattered planner, Vicki Brown. These became extra in her studio earlier this year, and I got to be the beneficiary. She tore all this great stuff off of here, and I'm not going to tear that off. So I am using the Tattered Planner pages that came from Shannon Green via Vicki Brown. And I've done some different sparkly backgrounds. So see, you see, all, I'm leaving all the, all the goodies, all the stuff where it's been torn off. Don't you love all that great texture? Vicki did a great job making me some pages, lots and lots of texture. So I put a layer of paint on these. And then as I was moving closer into this process, I thought, well, what's happening for me? Oh, here's the leaks. What's happening for me right now is that I'm doing a lot of community singing. And uh, if you've seen my posts on Art Joy of Sharing, I've given you um, websites for the songs that we've been singing. So here's my leak. Is that fun? Leak, 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 leak. Anyway. Listen to the music of my heart, of your heart. Listen to the music in your heart. So this is tearing things. This is using things on my desk. I've got all this crap on my, excuse me, all this stuff on my desk that's been piling up and I'm using it. So this was just an old piece of deli jelly paper that I had practice lettering for another journal page and um, tore it up. I was going to make tags out of it, but they didn't like them. And I use it for glue background. Anyway, all that stuff. So then I'm putting all these um, song words on here, the songs that I'm singing. So this, I've dated this 11-1. This was actually December and I'm um, putting this on the back. Um, my challenge to myself, use words of songs that sing me. Use stuff on my desk only. Don't go dig for something else. Use the recycled pages Vicki sent me earlier in the year and then bind them all into a book at the end of the month using that Coptic stitch. Coptic stitch, I think, that Ta Tanya McGuire demonstrated not so long ago. So that's the my goal for November. Now, you know, haven't done that many of them. But anyway, so here is November 1st. This is a Barbara McAfee song. I wish I could show you wherever you are lonely or walking in the dark. I wish I could show you the astonishing light of your being. What a great song. So this is all stuff that's on my desk. This is one of those prints of the leaves. This has leaks on it too. This is a Wendell Berry quote that's really fabulous. To go in the dark with a light is to know the light. To know the dark, go dark. Go without sight. And find that the dark too blooms and sings and is traveled by dark feet and dark wings. Now this music has been put to this poem and I could not find any place on the internet where I could give you a site for it. So I'll try to track that down somehow. And then this was... Um, Tanya did a, uh, a new kind of uh, prompt thingy where she just came up with words and then we had gone through and generated a whole list of prompts for each letter. So then she went through and this is these are the prompts for this. These are some more of my leaves. But anyway, so this was a prompt and it just put me in a very playful mood which made me think of this great little song, kids song. Have you ever been down the water spout to the very bottom of the water system? There you'll find a little alligator who goes by the name of Alfred. If you do, he's mine. I lost him. 
I threw him down the water spout, and now I'm feeling lonely because he's gone. I miss him. Anyway, it put me in a playful mood. So, so anyway, that's where I'm going with um, my art journal habit this month. And um, as of this recording, I'm a couple of days behind. I don't think I'll ever catch up, but I'm going to do another one today. So, many, many blessings to the dark days of November. Hope you stay warm, dry, sheltered, and using up stuff on your desk. That's my wish for us.